show you how to make a snowman so you can play too. <laughs> this is how you use a roll of toilet paper to wrap someone into a snowman. Start at the top by their shoulders. That helps it not fall down. This is getting comfy too. If the toilet paper breaks, it's okay. Just tape on the broken piece. I can't wait till she's done. It's gonna look so cool. I think we're done. And there we go. And voila! <laughs> then you can also use paper to finish decorating. Like black circles for buttons. The hat, hat. of the snowman. Final touch is the star. Right. Whoops, the butt. Stick it back <laughs> And then we have a human, human snowman. snowman. And this is how we made snow. We just used cotton balls. One, two, three. It's snowing. <laughs> and then you get to break out of it. <laughs> how to make a snowman garland. Deck the halls with snowman garlands. Fa la 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 la. We made snowman garlands and we're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. A garland is a type of party decoration that you can hang up like a rope. To make a snowman garland, you'll need some paper plates. This is going to be our face. First, you have to punch holes into the plate. They're supposed to be like this so then when you put the string between, it will hang like this. Next, we're gonna make the snowman's face. You can use markers, pipe cleaners, pom-poms, googly eyes, and cut up paper. I'm gonna start with the eyes. You'll need some glue. I chose two different googly eyes to make it look silly. Now I'm gonna make a nose. I'm gonna use orange to make the nose look like a carrot. Now I'm going to give him a smiley face. I'm gonna use crayon for my smile. I'm gonna use a pipe cleaner and some pom-poms to make earmuffs. I'm adding little rosy cheeks to my snowman. You wanna make your snowman's face big so you can see it farther away. Once you're done with your snowman face, you can put a piece of string in the holes that we punched earlier. I'm slithering the string piece inside my two punch holes. Now I'm doing that the same. And when it comes out, they'll both be on the same string. Once you've made a lot of faces, you're ready to string them up. Make sure you talk to an adult to figure out the best place to hang your garland. And that's how you make a snowman garland. How to make snowflakes you can eat. We made these tortilla snowflakes. There aren't you can eat. And we're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you start with your tortilla. This is gonna be the bottom of your tortilla sandwich. Here you go, here you go. Okay, spread your filling on top of your tortilla. My filling is strawberry cream cheese. My filling is cheddar cheese. My filling is chocolate spread. I'm spreading it all over. It's hard because my chocolate spread is thick, so I have to really spread it out. I'm just placing the cheese on top of the tortilla. Mmm, smells good. Then you're ready to make your tortilla snowflake. Everyone needs another tortilla. Here you go, here you go, here you go. And then you fold it once, and then fold it again, and then fold it one more time. And then you're gonna bite it, cut it, or take it off with your hands on the edges. I'm taking little pieces out around the edges. I'm just using my fingers to tear it. I'm using scissors to cut out little shapes. Each of the shapes I cut out is gonna be a hole in the snowflake. Wherever I bite is gonna be a hole in my snowflake. Time to open our snowflakes. Wow, they look 
so cool. Wow. I believe <laughs> it. <laughs> this looks so cool. Yeah. Now put your snowflake on top of your filling. And the best part about tortilla snowflakes is eating them. How does yours taste, Daniel? Mmm. It tastes so good. How to make your own snow. Over the river and through the woods to Grandma's house we go. We made our own snow. We're going to show you how to make it so you can play too. To make your own snow, you'll need some baking soda. You need two cups and then you just pour it into a pan or a bowl. Then you can add some glitter to make sparkly snow. And just sprinkle the glitter all over. And next, you'll need some hair conditioner. You're gonna wanna squirt it in. It's so goopy. Next, you're gonna wanna mix it. It smells very good because we added the conditioner. The conditioner makes the baking soda stick together. It's also sticking to the spoon. It might be better to just use our hands. Time to get messy. I'm ready. It's so snowy. It's so squishy. It's snowing. If you want it stickier and clumpier, add more hair conditioner. Or you can use it nice and fine like a flurry snow. I'm gonna add more hair conditioner to make it clumpier. And I'm gonna try to make a snowman. That's a good idea. You might want to save some of the snow as flurry snow. It's so squishy. Ooh, and it's cold too. The snow feels cold because the conditioner is kind of wet. I have the bottom of our snowman. Let's make more. There's the middle. There's the top. You can also add some toys to play in your snow. This car is having a hard time driving because the streets are covered in snow. I made a snowy mountain. Let's make the tallest one yet. It's snowing on the snowy mountain. And that's it, that's how you make homemade snow. I made yummy holiday fruit snacks. I made a candy cane and a snowman pop. I'm going to show you how to make them so you can play too. I love playing with my food. First, we're gonna start with the candy cane. I'm going to use strawberries and bananas. Cut a piece of banana on an angle like this. Then I'm going to do the same thing with my strawberries. Cutting them in slanted pieces will help make the stripes. Just make sure to slant your knife. Or you can have a grown-up help you. I love going strawberry pinking. Then you put the pieces on the plate. One banana and one strawberry. A banana and then a strawberry. And then a banana and then a strawberry. And build my candy cane on the plate. Almost done. Fa la 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 la. I'm just getting in the spirit. Build it all the way until you have a candy cane. And make sure you have a hook for your candy cane. Ooh, I can't wait to eat this. Playing with food is so much fun. Doesn't that look good enough to eat? Look at my candy cane. Doesn't it look yummy? Now I'm going to show you how to make a snowman pop. First you need a banana and cut it into circles. When you're done, add three circles so it can be the body of the snowman. Three snowballs of my snowman. You have the head and the body. After that, I get to decorate. You can add some chocolate chips for the buttons, the eyes, and the mouth. The more chocolate, the better, I say. And a tasty grape for his hat. Frosty the snowman. What I'm doing with the pretzels is I'm making the snowman's arms. And that's how you make yummy holiday fruit snacks. And the best part about holiday fruit snacks is you get to eat them. So good. Happy ho, ho, ho holidays. Touch here for more great videos. Come play with us or touch here to subscribe.
Come, come on, come play with us.